Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl cooking with Tammy and I am back once again with a delicious recipe, guys. Today I'm gonna show you how, first of all, let me say this. Who out there does not like French toast? I think we can all agree that we all love French toast. However, today we're gonna put a super spin on our delicious French toast recipe, all right? We're gonna be making strawberry crumble. Yes, yes, yes. Strawberry, <laughs> strawberry crumble French toast muffins. Oh my goodness. When I tell you guys, what trust me the recipe is simple and easy but the end result is going to be so worth it so without further ado let's get to cooking first thing we want to do is get our eggs in the bowl we're going to break our eggs down just a bit while introducing the heavy cream Perfect, let's add our sugar, both granulated and brown sugar. Stir that on in as well. We wanna break the sugar down. We don't want it to be clumpy. We want a nice smooth custard. All right, we want our French toast to have tons of flavor. So I am gonna be a little extra with the nutmeg. Yes, I am, along with our cinnamon. Add a good amount. Boom, 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 just like that. We're also gonna add our vanilla extract. And when it comes to this stuff, there is no measuring. We just love good flavor, that's all that matters. <laughs> and we're gonna combine everything once again. We're gonna cut our bread into bite-sized cubes. If you don't wanna cut the bread, you could break it into bite-sized pieces using your hands, of course. There's no right or wrong way to break bread. <laughs> no pun intended, right? <laughs> it's a lot easier when you use a bread knife, which is like a larger serrated type of blade. It makes cutting bread a lot more easier. We're going to add our bread to the mixture. Just going to fold it in. Mm-hmm. We're gonna allow the bread to sit in the custard mixture for at least, I wanna say three to five minutes because we want all of our bread to be soaked with the custard, all right? As you can see, this bread looks a little dry. So we're gonna place it back in there and just allow all of our custard to seep into the bread. We're gonna add some non-stick cooking spray to our baking pan. And in the meanwhile, let's work on preheating our oven 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Take a good scoop of our mixture and place it into the muffin tin, just like that. I'm gonna try to be as neat as possible. <laughs> Perfect. What I like about this recipe is it's so cute on presentation, right? But most importantly as well, it works out well like if you have like a larger size family. And I just like the individuality about it. Like you could just grab an individual French toast muffin. That's it, like you don't have to literally fry the French toast. <laughs> For about an hour <laughs> whereas you just add everything to the muffin tin and that's just it you know what i'm saying pop it into the oven one shot deal type of situation and that's it everybody eats at the same time you don't have to worry about trying to keep the other french toast that came out of the pan hot while you continue to make the other french toast if that makes sense So for me, this is a cool and quick and easy way to still enjoy French toast. In order to make our crumble, we're gonna need some cold butter, all right, fresh out of the refrigerator, along with granulated sugar and brown sugar. All right, cutting the butter was totally easy because as I said before, the butter is cold. So we're gonna add it to our bowl, right along with our granulated sugar, brown sugar, of course, and a couple sprinkles of cinnamon. I'm gonna use this potato masher. We're just gonna 
crumble everything up. Got our little crumbles going on. Shake this off. Let's get in here just a little bit more. I'm gonna take our crumble and sprinkle it on the top of every French toast muffin. Not only is it gonna give it a nice little sweet buttery coating, but it's gonna brown quickly as well. Almost forgot the little one at the bottom. Can't do that. Of course, we're gonna clean off our baking pan once we're done. Into our preheated 350 degree oven. Let's clean our baking pan off and make it look nice and neat before placing it into the oven. Of course, that part I'm gonna do off camera. When we come back, I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious strawberry compote. That's gonna pair perfectly with our French toast muffins. First thing we wanna do in order to make our strawberry compote is remove the stems from the top of the strawberry. Just slice it off. Last but not least, let's get it. All right. What I'm gonna do is, let's see how we're gonna play this out. All right, we're gonna slice the strawberries in half. Strawberries are so pretty. Not to mention the aroma that they give off is so, oh my goodness, it's so fragrant. In the meanwhile, to our saucepan, we are gonna add our strawberries. We're gonna add a good amount of sugar. at least four tablespoons because we want it to be, it's almost like making jam. Add some water. And we're gonna be cooking our strawberries on medium heat. Remember our crumble that we topped our French toast with? We're gonna add it to our strawberries as well. It's just butter, cinnamon, and sugar. Can't go wrong with that, right? Rather than tossing it, just add it to the strawberries. Our French toast muffins are fresh out of the oven. As you can see, they really puffed out, guys. They are absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna allow them to cool just a bit, but in the meanwhile, I'm gonna take a butter knife and I'm just gonna go around the edges simply. Once they cool off, of course, we're not gonna attempt to try to take it out of the baking pan right now because they may fall apart. So best thing to do, allow it to cool off for about 10 to 15 minutes, go in with a butter knife, get those edges, loosen them up and pop them on out. After about 15 to 20 minutes on medium heat, as you can see, our strawberry compote has definitely thickened up. This is exactly what we need. All right, let's have some fun, my loves. Let's have some fun. We are gonna take our strawberry mm. compote and we're just gonna add it to the top of every French toast muffin. French toast muffin. My mouth is salivating, it's like hard to talk right now. <laughs> If you want your compote to have more of a drizzle effect, of course, don't boil it until it thickens as much as I did, but more so cut the stove off at a quicker time. Okay. Oh, I'm making a mess. All right. In this case, a mess is good, all right? <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. Just when you thought it couldn't get any better, I'm gonna place this right here, just like that. Boom. We are done. Our beautiful breakfast or brunch French toast muffins with strawberry drizzle is done. Absolutely gorgeous, guys, big on presentation. Now here's the thing, it's peach season, you hear me? Go down to the local farm, grab yourself some peaches, make the instead of the strawberry compote make a peach compote same ingredients water sugar it's almost like creating a simple syrup you know what i mean add some peaches to your mini french toast muffins follow me on every platform guys follow me on instagram TikTok, and if you are not subscribed to this youtube channel but you're peeking your nose in i don't see why you're not subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button because as you can see these recipes are absolutely delightful and that's about it, my loves. As always, I'm your girl, Cook with Tammy, and I will definitely catch you in another video. Talk to you later. Bye, guys.